my grandma watching her pine trees for the last time. My grandma watching her pine trees for the last time. Grant Dunleavy, Sage Hill School, grade nine, Newport Coast, California. Her greenhouse, 16 plants, she knows by name. Her greenhouse, 16 plants, she knows by name. Ryan Schumann, Sage Hill School, grade 12, Newport Coast, California. And the last one, El Morto. Salt water stinging my sunburned back, El Morto. Salt water stinging my sunburned black back. Michelle Ogilvie, Sage Hill School, grade 12, Newport Coast, California. And the Nick Virgilio Haiku Association would like to thank Rick Black and Rafael Di Grutola for this year's judging. They did an excellent job, and I think they deserve a round of applause. close to 800 entries. For the, I, I don't know how many you, you kicked out before. It was a lot to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Put another thousand in Wow. Well, Raphael, it's so nice that you're here from, from Boston. And uh, there are so many wonderful, I, I don't know about the poems you rejected, but there were, there were so many wonderful poems that uh, could have been winners that you know I mean everybody who entered the contest I think was a winner just for trying their hands at, at doing the writing and it was really a, a pleasure to do the judging because you know if haiku is going to live on it, it's got to be with the youth and it's such a great idea to have that contest Tony I mean that, that was just a, a brainstorm. My name's Ben I'm the uh... Ben Hill, I'm the president of the board of directors of the Heart of Camden, and we have some exciting things we want to talk to you about. What I want to do also is to show Henry's passing around the Writer's House, the latest drawings we have for the Writer's House, which is being built at the corner of Jasper and Broadway, across from the Sacred Heart Church. And uh, by being the uh, president of the board of directors of the Heart of Camden, I, I, I'm privy to the blueprints of that project. So I want to show everybody what we're trying to accomplish with the Writer's House in its present form and uh, we're still open to ideas on how to make it a better facility but it's basically a house for writers to come express themselves teach and of course we all learn and it's a three floor building it's a huge building with a magical roof as father michael's always talking about uh which matches up with the theater to the other end of the block so it's going to be a great project it's been funded and uh we hope to have that completed sometime in uh, 2015. Barbershop floor, my hair mingles with fathers and grandfathers. Barbershop floor, my hair mingles with fathers and grandfathers. Building its song, then turning in on itself, cicada. Building its song, then turning in on itself, cicada. My dead brother, hearing his whistle in the cardinals. My dead brother, hearing his whistle in the cardinals. Urban renewal, the blind accordionist moves to another corner. <laughs> Urban renewal. The blind accordionist moves to another corner. Biology homework. Exploring the girl next door. The latchkey boy. <laughs> Biology homework. Exploring the girl next door. The latchkey boy. So those are just a bunch of them that Joe shared with me.